Brothers and sisters, grace and peace to you. It is Tuesday, May 12th, um, and this is our weekly update on the COVID, regarding COVID-19 and our life together as a congregation of Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. It's a blessing to be together in this time in many, many ways. A couple of things to highlight in the life that we offer together as a faith community in these days. We continue to gather together. Um, hopefully you were able to gather with our youth as they led us in worship on Sunday morning. If you missed that, um, do tune in and, um, and, and, and watch and worship uh, in that time. Both the 8.30 and the 9.45 worship services are posted on our Facebook and YouTube pages. As we continue to look down the road over the next several weeks, we will continue to worship online at 8.30 and 9.45 on Wednesday nights. And I ask for your prayers as our church council meets next Tuesday on May 19th, because one of the topics uh, that they will spend time with and have been praying about quite um, deeply is what does it look like as we uh, begin to look forward to in-person activities, specifically in-person worship services in the coming weeks and months. And I hope to share more with you uh, about that midweek next week. We continue to grow together as a community of faith. Uh, Madeline House's uh, sermon on Sunday when the youth uh, led our worship service was based on the story of Jesus' encounter with his disciples in John's Gospel in the 14th chapter. It's a story that we often hear at least the first four or six verses of um, during funeral worship uh, times. And so it was a blessed time to hear Madison, Madeline um, preach on this text and, and challenge us with two really pointed questions, I thought, about growing in our faith. The first thing she asked us is, what do you think it means to do the work of Jesus? What do you think it means to do the work of Jesus? And the second one was, how do you see Jesus in your life? How do you see Jesus in your life? And she was first brought the memory of, of hearing those questions when she was going through church school at Good Shepherd and now challenged all of us to look at them as it relates to the times that we're walking in and living through right now. And she gave us some wonderful examples, but man, comment on them or tweet them out or get a, send a text message or shoot us an email or give us a phone call. I'd love to hear where you see Jesus at work in the world today and how do you see Jesus active and alive in your life in these days. We're also growing together as a congregation in these times of a baptism class that was held last week. A couple of families joined for a baptism class via Zoom an online baptism class for the first time. And tomorrow night on the 13th at 7 p.m. on Wednesday night, Aaron from our staff team and Pastor Julie are going to lead an online new member group um, as about 10, 12 uh, households are joining in our mission and ministry together with us as Good Shepherd Lutheran Church very soon. We continue to also figure out ways to give together and to be blessed in our giving. The hands, gifts of our hands, our feet, our voices, and our financial resources are all God's gifts to us first. And we're entrusted to God to steward them and care for them and use them for God's good work in the world. So I continue to give thanks for the many ways that you are supporting the work that is being done in and through Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in these days. And finally, we continue to go together as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ in many beautiful ways and amazing places. And I'm hopeful that as, we, as uh, the smart restart continues to happen and engage in our community and our region, our state, um, that the ways that you're able to go and to bless and to be with your neighbors is expanding. And uh, we give thanks for that opportunity as well. As we look to the next few months, next half year, next year of our life together in mission and ministry, we're already beginning to look at what that looks like post COVID-19. So if you have any ideas, especially in areas specific ministries, youth ministry, church school ministry, uh, senior adult ministries, um, pastoral care ministries, worship ministries, um, boy, we would love to hear from you. So drop us a note and let us know where the Spirit might be placing something upon your heart on this day. One of the great little devotional tools that we have in the church to grow in our life together um, as followers of Jesus and stewards of God is a little piece that's published by the publishing company of, of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Augsburg Fortress. And this is a little piece published every quarter. Maybe you've heard about this. I hope some of you have heard about this at least. 
Um, if you haven't, check this out. There's a link in, on the screen right now that'll take you to where this can be located or they're always available for free um, in the church, in the information carousels in the church. This is called Christ in Our Home. On Sunday, Pastor Nathan Baker Trinity in the Minneapolis area posted this devotion on the text that, that uh, Madeline asked us the questions about. What do you think it means to do the work of Jesus and how do you see Jesus at work in your life? And Pastor Nathan wrote this. Jesus speaks these words in John 14 during his final meal with the disciples before his death on a cross. No doubt the disciples experienced difficult emotions, if they understood his words at all. They would never again hear Jesus' voice, see him smile at them, feel his hands washing their feet. Do you ever wish you could see Jesus? As the first disciples, Christians today may feel sad that they don't see their Lord face to face. The, f the good news is, Jesus hasn't left you. Though invisible, his spirit and breath are with you, as real as your own breathing in the wind that blows against your face. Though you can't see Jesus, you can feel his love. And so on this week of our life together as Good Shepherd Lutheran Church, I believe we are once again being called to send, sent into the world, sent into our homes, sent onto our phones to call friends, to be Jesus' love, to show Jesus' love, to live out the mission of our congregation, to share the shepherd's love with all of God's children. Be well, brothers and sisters in Christ, in these days. We'll see you again soon, and thank you again for joining us for this time of a COVID-19 update.